Hello, in today's video, I'm gonna share two ways that you can troubleshoot SNI connections. What is SNI, you ask? SNI stands for Server Name Indication and is the clear text part of an SSL connection that allows a proxy like a big IP or Nginx to select the correct SSL certificate or send a connection to the correct backend resource. What's the trouble with SNI? Well, the problem with SNI is that it can be really difficult to recreate an SNI connection. So I'm gonna be sharing two tools that I use. The first is going to be using the OpenSSL S client, and the second is the curl command. So let's go take a look at how I'm gonna use these two tools to troubleshoot SNI. The first command that we are going to use is the OpenSSL S server command. This command is going to allow us to set up a test backend server to send our test client request to. After we've run the OpenSSL S server client, we can run the OpenSSL S client command to simulate a TLS connection. This is the first command that I use to test SNI connections. You can see here that we add the additional parameter dash server name to specify the server name that we want to use. After we connect, we can take a look at the output from the OpenSSL S client server. If we scroll back, we can see here that we have specified the name. So this value right here is including that server name value that we specified in the client. Next, let's look at using the curl command to do the same. Now we're going to look at using the curl command to do the same. For my curl command, you can see here that I am making use of the dash dash resolve parameter. This parameter will let me specify that this IP and port, I want to use this specific SNI name when sending the request. Sending the request through, we can then look at the output from the OpenSSL S server to verify that we have received the correct name. Similar to our previous example, we can see here that we have the correct server name value. I hope you found these two commands useful in troubleshooting SNI connections. Also visit the Dev Central site to see my accompanying article about troubleshooting SNI. Thank you very much for watching.